Now it's gonna work. The so okay, now you pour this in and watch the eruption. Ready? Ready. <gasps> guys, what is up? I come to you many, many days before Prime Day. As you guys know, Prime Day is a pretty special day, right? If you're Amazon lovers, you know how awesome Prime is. So we've got some festive things going on here at the Bingham household, got our American flags flying, but I bring to you today one of my favorite products. I've talked about it so, so very much. In fact, we are headed to Lake Powell here pretty soon. And I just feel like you can never have enough reliance when it comes to connectivity and backup energy supplies. So I'm here to talk about EcoFlow. EcoFlow actually has some solar generators, which are far superior, in my opinion, to gas generators. And here's a couple of reasons why. They are completely fume free. They don't burn fossil fuels, therefore they put out no emissions that are bad for our environment, which is a huge bonus, right? They're much quieter than a gas generator. You're harnessing the power of the sun. So in theory, you never really run out of gas, right? You know, obviously the battery will last you through the evening time, but then back in the morning, you're charging up again. So gas generators run essentially on gas, so you're gonna run out of gas. Very low maintenance devices. They also can be used indoors. You cannot use a gas generator indoors. Not to mention, they also charge up significantly faster. So when you drain the battery, they have what's called extreme technology, which means you have dual charging speeds that are four times faster than the industry's leading generators, which is kind of a big deal. And one of my big favorite things about EcoFlow in general is its ability to connect right to your phone. So you can kind of see the output that you're getting, what devices they're going to, how charged your batteries are. So behind me here, I've got a couple fun EcoFlow devices, right? I've got my EcoFlow River Series. You know, good for charging drones, computers, cell phones. In fact, Ava was doing her nails just a minute ago. Ava, show how you do your nails. And then behind me, I have my Delta 2 series. Now my Delta 2 is a little bit more robust of a system. Used to kind of, again, power household devices like appliances, you know, blenders. Power blender if you'd like. Oh, and also behind there I have a solar panel as well. Keep my portable batteries charged at all times. So I got a deal for you guys I want to share with you now. It is good, again, Prime Day. In fact, the discount code is already up and it's available. You can use it now even before Prime Day. Yo, so you can save up to $1,500 on EcoFlow's Amazon Prime Day. Click the link in the description below to get access to this deal right now. And be sure to use our code as well. That'll get you an extra 5% off of all of Echo Flow's Amazon Prime deals that are going on that day. Again, codes are active. They don't expire on July 12th, 11th, 12th. They actually are good until July 20th. So check them out, guys. Huge fan. Again, going to Lake Powell. Absolutely, I bring one of these along because I'm running a gas generator on my houseboat and I need to have connectivity. And these provide the best reliability when it comes to power needs. Now back to today's video. You what? He makes the so That's so nice. So she could get on the bed because it's so high. My motto is simple. Efficiency, efficiency, efficiency. Could probably just say it once. Just remember, it's not worth your life. 
to get the log in the water. I, I don't understand. There you go. There you go, baby. It's just like people are gonna just be put down. Okay, go, go, go. Impressive. You actually made it. Yeah. It passed you. Okay, you can't do a proper birthday wish without all Let's eight see. candles lit. So think of something really good. No boys involved. And blow them out. Wow. Well, nice. yeah. Does that mean you couldn't wish for a brother's go away because no boys in love? <laughs> That's right. And you know what that means? It means you have zero boyfriends. If you blow them out and one's still going, it means you have one boyfriend. You have to try really hard not to, but when keep going. Okay, ready? Present from Grandma and Grandpa and Papa. Wait, is this Grandma? Yeah. Oh my goodness. This is my favorite. What did you say? What would you say? Mm, like an Abus has a stick. Like an It's a solid. What is so it called? If you squeeze it, it becomes a solid, but if you just let it sit there, it becomes a liquid. That's really cool. What's it called? Ooblick. Ooblick. I never knew any word like that. No, me neither. Poppy, can you say ooblick? Ooblick. Okay, the baptism is over, more fun to come. My parents are in town for a week, so my sister's family, my family, and my parents are getting together. We're missing my brother's family in Wisconsin. I have a niece and nephew who are around the twins' ages and missing my sister's family. Wish we could all be together, but we have some fun things planned this week. Today, we're doing some backyard water games. My sister brought over this amazing splash pad. So right now, Annabelle's loving more than anybody. The kids are swimming in the hot tub. Not a hot tub, though. It's more like a mini swimming pool at the moment. For some reason, it's not working. No, no, guess who's here? Look who's here. I was going to say, we got to get you back on the vlog. Yeah, so your favorite's here. <laughs> Grandpa Papa Tim. If you've been around for a while, you've met this guy. Yes. He loves the camera, and the camera loves him. Absolutely. But if you haven't, this is my dad, Papa Tim. So if you like me, hit the like button on the bottom. Smash the like button. We need the most likes on this video. That's right. That we've ever had on any video, so that you can prove that you really are the favorite. That's right, exactly. Help Please do. Help Please do. Out, yes. She's our guard dog. Hi, no. honey. Hi, Hi, sweetie girl. You're the best doggy in the whole world. We got all the cousins in the pool. If you're a cousin, say hi. 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 Poppy, are you a cousin? You have to say hi. Hi. Good <laughs> job. Well, that's the cutest thing I've ever seen. You having a little picnic under your fort? Yeah, and we're gonna play with Barbies. Under your fort? Yep. I love it. Okay, Ava's birthday present this year from Grandma and Papa is a science kit. It's got all sorts of fun girly. experiments, a girly experiment kit. So tonight, Ava's got it out and wants Grandma to help her with a couple of them. Which one are you guys doing? Sudsy eruption. And the first two times, we did it wrong. So first time we did hand but so we're supposed to do dish soap. 
And then we figured out that we're doing corn syrup instead of baking soda. So and it just know. makes it even more satisfying when you get it right, right? Yep. Now it's gonna work. Ooh. Okay, now you pour this in and watch the eruption. Ready? Ready. <gasps> it works! <laughs> that is so awesome. Mom, show me the most new haircut. Oh, oh, so show you so you can look how pretty you are. You look so pretty. She got a, a nice short haircut for the summer. She's been snuggling with me on the floor. Annabelle, sit down so we can see it. Can you see it? Sit down. Oh, she looks so pretty. Can you see it? 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 You look so pretty. Okay, first experiment was fizzy rocks. It's not as fizzy anymore because they did it a little while ago. You know what else you forgot to show everybody? What? That hole in your mouth. Ava lost a tooth when she was at her cousin Penny's house. Grandma was there. It's in Grandma's purse. Is that your tooth's in Grandma's purse? We have a picture of what happened, but tell them what happened. So this time I was eating a peep. When it was my second bite, I just buried it, and I'm like, what the heck? And I'm like, why is there a tooth? And I'm like, oh, it didn't even hurt. And then it started bleeding so much, it fell on the floor. <laughs> it didn't even hurt, though. So the pee pulled your tooth out. Mm -hmm. Now I can drink just through the hole. The straw through there. Oh, Tooth Fairy's coming tonight. <gasps> Yay! Can I get a little help here? Okay, I'm ready. First one by yourself. I love it. Sweetest cousin award goes to Ash because he's trying to fix this thing for Barbie. Um, <laughs> he's helping her with her Barbie. Does Ashy love you enough to play Barbies? Yeah. Yeah, he's the best. I was pretty hesitant. Okay. <laughs> I don't blame you, buddy. Okay, we are having so much fun with my family here in town. We've been honestly doing a lot of hanging in the backyard. Chilling on the sectional back there. We got in the hot tub and played Uno. Almost had a thunderstorm. We heard a little bit of thunder, but nothing came of it. So we had a good old game of Uno. There were quite a few of us in the hot tub. I was really happy with how many people we could fit in there. Papa and grandma made us grilled cheese and tomato soup poolside, basically because that's what I had. We need to go grocery shopping. The girls have been having a ton of fun making forts. They made a fort outside yesterday yesterday and today actually you can kind of see it out there just came inside to find out fort number two is happening in here <laughs> let me just give you a little tour real quick this doll there's her hair she's a teeny bit scary the doll's a little scary show me inside your fort okay so i used to love doing these on stormy days okay so we got some pillows i have hiccups <laughs> Okay, so we got some pillows to be comfy so we can maybe we could sleep here tonight. Then we got some blankies and we got Ashton on a switch. And then the best part is doing someone's hair. And then we got Phineas and Ferb. Okay, if you've been around here for a while, you know that when Papa and Grandma come to town, we have the yummiest breakfast. Papa made his famous Egg McMuffins yesterday. Hey, what, what, what's my Egg McMuffin? Breakfast is over at 10.30. I think the kids all had like three each. But this morning, I'm making breakfast for my family. Oh, getting serious with the whipped cream. <laughs> One of the breakfasts that I know how to do that my dad doesn't know how to do, very rare, are sourdough pancakes, homemade sourdough pancakes with a sourdough starter. You take away my sourdough bread, you're gonna get poisoned. Homemade buttermilk syrup. And Stephanie, I don't think, has ever tried them. Is this your first time? It is. So, so excited. I made them for her and her girls and my fam and my parents. And they smell amazing if I don't <laughs> say so myself. What are you having for breakfast? Who made those for you? Um, I don't know. <gasps> no, it was me. Andy. <laughs> okay, take a bite and tell me if you think they're good. I can do it. Okay, you can do it. I believe in you. I can't. Okay, I'll, I'll help you. Why are we not videoing you all day? Because you are so funny. Ready? It's a big bite. Oh, too many pieces, sorry. 
<laughs> Hard to video and feed you at the same time. What do we think? Are they yummy? Penny, are they yummy? Yeah. Who made them for you? Who's your best friend? Excuse me. Oh, that's kind of hurt. Candy, Eva. Happy. Hey, who's your best friend? Mama. No, you forgot. We practiced this yesterday. Look, okay. who's your best friend? Oh, the there we go. Eva. <laughs> I'm stealing all your best friends, Eva. Poppy, who's your next best friend? Um, uh, Point to yourself and mention it. Ashley, yes. Ashley's your best friend. Who's it? Who? Turbin. Aww. One more bite from Turbo. This is what happens when there's cute little cousins doing hair. I braided his hair, but I took it off. She didn't yeah. like it. You braided Turn's hair? Yeah. No, she did not. Is this the best? I don't even know what to call this. Barber shop? No. I'm doing this girl's hair. She is like weird. That is so beautiful, Poppy. Do I look dumb? You look amazing. <laughs> Do I look dumb? Yeah. Penny? Yeah. <laughs> Penny, is Turn a cute boy? Yes. Yeah. Poppy, is he so handsome? No comment. <laughs> how many girls do you think Turin has kissed? Okay, stop. <laughs> Poppy, how many girls has he kissed? 34. 34. 34? 34. I Poppy, thought it no, was 200. 3400. <laughs> you see what's supposed to kiss he did? Oh, that's yeah. so nice. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Dog pile on Turin! Okay, no, you can't get on that. Turin, look at me. You could be like on a wall. <laughs> now it's a dog pile on Ava. Oh, that's cute. Where's Penny? I can't find her. Oh, you want knife under there? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, such a loving sister. Yeah. I just have to laugh because we worked so hard to get our yard done for Ava's baptism and we planted some pretty flowers to have some color back here because I was a little bit worried that some of our perennials that come up every year with color weren't gonna come up this year. But because the seasons shifted a little bit and our warm weather came later, everything blossomed, no joke, two days after the baptism. Two days after we had everyone back here and it looks so pretty right now. Can you believe that just a few days ago this was all green and look how pretty. They're like orange and pink roses right here. This has got some yellow coming up now. These are the ones we planted. Got some more rose bushes that are not, they're like mini rose bushes. Spray roses, something like that. Those aren't quite there, but you can see the buds are coming. More right there. We've got some purple in here. Over here is where we planted one. Yeah, planted some it. pink ones right there. This one maybe needs some love. We got some mint. This is our mint, and this is actually after we trimmed it down a ton. Mint grows like crazy. Well, tell them what we're gonna make with that. So, on my birthday, I got this lemonade, like mint. Strawberry mint, yeah, right? Yeah, strawberry mint lemonade or something. It was so good, and they told us how to make it. It was like strawberries smashed up, and they like soak it in water. And with the mint, and we're like, it's perfect, because we have mint in our backyard, so we're gonna make some of that. These pretty yellow ones we planted this this year. These pretty pink ones we planted this year. See, we've got some purple coming up back here. And then we got some. Yeah, we've got to show them the roses. Yeah. These are all raspberry bushes, but those won't come until more like July. And then we got this really pretty rose. They're starting to blossom. They're all different colors. White, we got some yellow ones right here. Here's some yellow and then here's some purple. And here's some orange. Ooh, the orange ones are going crazy. Look how pretty. And these are like a darker purple. And then these are red. And then yellow with a little bit of like red or something. Those are kind of a mixed color again. Right here, this is where we get some lilies. We've got a ton of lilies growing right here. Those have not blossomed yet. And then up here in the front. We got some more planted ones. Yeah, we planted a bunch of annuals. Well, when I say we, Justin planted those. 
We got some pretty lilac or something purple. I can't remember what that is. Something's gonna come up here too. We used to have some lilies up here, but maybe we need to move them all. Then we've got some more annuals right here. The problem is that they don't get a lot of sun up here, so they don't always survive. <laughs> We're hoping. Then we've got some pretty annuals up here on the doorstep, which by the way, have we showed you our beautifully new painted black door. Looks so good. We love it. Flowers. So much better than before. So the flowers. Mom, I haven't told you this, but when the flowers were there, once there was a huge bee and it like went in their house and I think it's still there. We have been getting a lot more bees and bugs with all these beautiful flowers coming up. You like jazz? I don't know if this is Annabelle or if this is just that they're not surviving. It's so sad. They're surviving. We had some annuals right here too. Annabelle doesn't dig anymore. Me, I can't blame her. Yes. Speaking of, where's Poppy? Poppy's in here. I built it. <laughs> Look at this amazing fort hey, that they just built. I want to show you. Can I go give him a tour? Okay, should we get our fort? I built it. It's a little messy now. <laughs> okay, so say hi, Poppy. Hi, Poppy. Oh. Hi, Poppy. Okay, so we got some towels on the floor. Yes, you also got some And then we got our got, roof. You also got some more stuff. Yeah, we got some Barbies. We got this boat. And we got a bunch of Barbies oh, and my pool for my Barbie house. And then we got this little couch for our Barbies and our dogs. And then we got Mama, some towels if we're wet. And that's it. The girls have been living in this hot tub. Really, everyone has been. The boys have been in here with them. It's the perfect thing because we've had really overcast weather, really stormy weather for Utah. We don't normally have this many clouds or thunder or rain. It's been kind of fun. It reminds me of where we grew up. So my sister and I have been talking about this. In Wisconsin, we had storms all the time and it was really fun. And uh, we're having a spring that reminds us so much of home. So it's been kind of that perfect in-between weather. I'd have to say April 25th because it's not too hot, not too cold. There where we can just hang out, sit on the couch, we can play games, we can have do water balloons, but if it gets a little chilly all of a sudden, we can swim in the hot tub. It's been so fun having my parents here. My sister and I have been hanging out nonstop. Obviously her kids and her family have been over here. We get to see each other a lot more when my parents are in town because we have to put everything else aside, real life, right? So it's been super fun. What concoction are we making here, boys? Uh, I'll try it. Oreo, no. no, cookie dough. Cookie dough with root beer. Nasty. Okay, I need I need the taste test here. We didn't have any vanilla ice cream. Hey, that is good. That is actually good. Turns chugging it like water. Probably, is it good? It's probably edible. Not really that good. <laughs> not the best combo. <laughs> I, I tried to get him to do butter pecan with uh, the root beer, but pop. They said that butter pecan is for old people. Yeah. They did say that. It was very, very cool. <laughs> who did we get that for? Would you like a taste? Uh-huh. Me. Is it good or not? Guess who else loves it though? Justin. Justin. It actually is. I know he does. <laughs> did you see that? It actually is good. Okay. It's not bad. <laughs> Ava just got home from dance and she officially, well, she officially Almost. has a loose tooth. <laughs> it's not out yet. But it's hanging by a thread. <laughs> I already lost this tooth. Like, how many days ago was that? Two. On this one, seven. You're gonna have a hole on each side of your mouth. <laughs> Two places for straws. <gasps> yeah! And check out that hair you got going. <laughs> okay, dance, dance, dance. How did it go? Good. She's with her new team now. Yeah, but my legs are so sore. All we did is like, stretching. Splits. Now you're sore. Okay, our adventure today is fishing. Finally have a beautiful sunny day. We came over here to Manila Pond. It's a cute little pond. We're setting up over there where the girls are gonna play at the beach. And then we've got the boys set up over here. We've got Papa, Turin, Ashton, Landon. And they're all gonna fish down here. Look at those gorgeous mountain views behind us. It doesn't get better than this. Justin is joining us here shortly. He just flew in back from his trip from Atlanta. He was there for work. He's here for a couple days. Leaves on Sunday for his Mount Rainier claim that he's been preparing for forever.
our last breakfast with Pop and Grandma this morning. And we're drinking fresh grapefruit juice that was brought here from Arizona, picked off the tree by Papa, right? <laughs> Is it yummy? Fresh Arizona citrus, so yummy. How sad are we that Papa and Grandma are going home today? I'm very sad. <laughs> he really is. He was just talking about it before you came down. Yeah. So sad. What about sad. you? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Grandma taught us a fun game while she was here. We played it the other night. Password. Ava loved it and she's begging to play it before they leave in just a few minutes. Tell them how you play. So, password, you only can say like one word. You can't say like St. Patrick's Day, it has it's to be one word. One word. It can see. And your team has to try to guess what you're thinking. Yeah, about. and then so they have these lists of words, and they're all one word, not like St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> but you have a team. You have teams, and you go back and forth with one one word until your team gets yeah, it. Yeah, and they give you clues. Let's see. Batter. Pancakes. Cake. You throw that up here. I'm gonna make um, your breakfast. <laughs> the only thing is the breakfast? Yep. <laughs>